welcome back to our crossover. We're still here. Dwayne's still here. Hope you had uh, fun watching that showdown. So let's just talk with Dwayne about his you know, roots in the Filipino basketball community. You've been here for a long time. <laughs> <coughs> Don't say your age. But <laughs> tell us about your beginnings in the Filipino basketball community. Oh, he's only 20. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. 18. So, <laughs> he, loves, he, loves, he loves for sure 20. Yeah. I believe that. So I started uh, playing the Filipino basketball community at 12. Yeah. Um, played for, first I started with Bayan, mm. and, then I, and then we went over, then we formed Vaughn. So I've been playing for them for a while. Um, Till when I was in juvenile, and um, no, so I noticed playing. I start. I went to get into coaching. Mm-hmm. So because I was sitting, sitting in the sitting in the bench, mm-hmm. being like coming off the bench. So like, let me try this, man. Like, I want to see it. Be a young coach. See, see how it is against these older Filipino coaches. See mm-hmm. how I could compete with these guys. Mm-hmm. So I started at 20. Started coaching Tykes. First year coaching one MPAA, we went like one and eight. <laughs> so it was it was a good experience for me, um, but like I, I had to take a learning curve. I just got it. I was cold, raw, so mm. still learning, still learning the ropes, still learning kids, still learning the game on coaching, being a leader and stuff like that. But I enjoyed it, so it was a challenge for me. So got up, uh, then became pretty much then coached you guys, mm-hmm. coached you yourself. Yeah. You actually did coach me. <laughs> when you were, uh, when you were tykes for Vaughn, yeah. we, played, we played together. We, I coached yeah. you when you were in Chicago. Yeah. So and that was a great experience. Uh, coached guys like CJ Isit, who's mm-hmm. currently, who played from Mapua. Yeah. John John Sharif, playing, who's now playing in, uh, U- who played in UST. Mm-hmm. And also a guy, Chris Archangel, who played in uh, Vancouver. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. It grew. I we ended up winning a couple of. Um, I've won three straight juvenile championships with those guys. Mm. Uh, MPAA, uh, FIBA, the li- leagues like, you name the it. The leagues you yeah, name yeah. it. It was. Uh, it was. It was good. It was fun. I. I really enjoyed it. Um, but also, my goal was to, when I start to coach, like it was also about winning. But also, I wanted to see the kids grow too. Like yeah. grow. Like now seeing you host your own show. Mm seeing guys being successful, like my center lamps, like an engineer now, Mm. like just stuff like that. Just having them grow and excelling also in life is also a good thing too for like these Filipino kids, because I want to get them out of trouble, Mm -hmm. you know, like keep them busy with basketball Mm -hmm, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was good for all, good for all of them. Good, like, and it was, it's, and I still enjoy it till this day. Mm -hmm. So, and now they're all old now, so I got. I think I got to. <laughs> yeah. I think I got. <laughs> now I got. Now I got to. Now I got to start from scratch and uh, yeah. start again because my, my goal was my goal of coaching is starting from tykes and build and grow with them all the way till they hit open. Wow. So mm. now it's very long term like, yeah. focus. Yeah. That's yeah. a long term. Yeah. Mm. So it's uh it's it's uh that's it's the way it goes. I like I, that's my mentality. Mm-hmm. So it's good and I I, I, I like it. It's fun. It's mm-hmm. it just. Keeps me out of trouble too. <laughs> <laughs> when you were playing uh, uh, basketball and the young age, when did you had a moment in your like, in your in your life, maybe in your career, that say, "Oh, I wanted to get into coaching." Why did you wanted to get into coaching, or at that young age? Oh you said, yeah, well, because yeah, he was on the question. bench. He said, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> in a sense, like, <laughs> well, we, no one thinks of, oh, I want to coach. I want to play." It's yeah. like yeah. all yeah. bench players are future yeah. coaches. Yeah. We should like, <laughs> yeah, like bench players. Out of <laughs> anyone, you know, when you're in the bench, yeah. you want to get in. You're thinking of how, yeah. Yeah. what are you gonna do That's when true. you get in? But you're like, how are we gonna? You know, yeah, no, well, because I just saw like, like, just the way like, like the older generation Filipino coaches, they have their own system. Like it's pretty similar. So I'm like, I want to try. I want to try something up. Like I. I, I was coming out of the bench. I want to try using my bench players, like mm-hmm. using, using, uh, like using my bench, using everybody, mm-hmm. like, like come with different strategies. Because w- when we grew up, we were just playing zone. Mm-hmm. Like there was no, there's not much pressing unless, like, unless you played against like the legend Tito Eddie, who <laughs> going out and 25 or left, yeah. who Im- implemented the trap. Yeah. Like those guys, oh, like yeah. those guys had the trap defense on lock. Yeah. Like yeah. playing those guys, man, those guys were like, <laughs> yeah. those guys are awesome. Man. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll give them, I'll give them a lot of credit. Like yeah. to, till this day, they could still play. Yeah. Like, uh, which is, which is, which is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. And then I just saw, I, when I was watching, I was like, man, I, I want to try this because 
I want to compete against these guys, compete against like these older coaches, mm -hmm. try something like try a, try a new flavor, and uh, because some, sometimes like they didn't like like when your when the age gap is big, mm -hmm. they tend like they don't they get it's a little strict like mm -hmm. a little hard on them so they weren't really free like the kids like yeah. like they did oh wait, what are you doing can I shut this down <laughs> yeah. like you know like yeah. stuff like they that right? yeah. they pull you off yeah. right yeah. so like I wanted to like. Free, like, just go, like, yeah. be confident, like, yeah. like, go out there, take that shot, do yeah. what, do what, do what you can, do what you do, like, yeah. do what you're comfortable doing. Like, I wanted them to feel comfortable on the court, yeah. instead of like they make a mistake, they look back at their coach or look back at their mom and yeah. stuff like okay. that. Am and I getting subbed out? Am I gonna get <laughs> subbed out? You know, yeah. just built that self-esteem on the, in, on the kids, mm -hmm. and that's that's why, I that's why I wanted to do it. That's one of, that's one of, one of the reasons why I like doing coaching and stuff like that mm -hmm. just to build that confidence. so how much how much have you implemented like the old coaching styles just like Tito Eddie and implement it into your own new style like the modern way of like you know obviously trying to make sure that they have the players young players especially that they have their own confidence in playing on the court instead of like looking back at, at the bench and saying thinking like oh I made a mistake that uh, that's over my game's over yeah so in terms of that with like with Tito Eddie like yeah, like he, he's, he and like Tito Somi mm -hmm. and um, all those coaches, like they, what I did was they had the, uh, they had, they had, they had, they, they could motivate a, a bit. Like they, yeah. they could have the motivation. And I kind of took that in. Um, and then, but I, I was more of like the more the strategic X's and mm -hmm. O's type thing and tell them, hey, don't, don't be afraid to shoot. If you're open, take that shot, mm. stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and pretty much um, that's pretty much it. Like, and have them like be more like just feel free. Feel free. Mm. Like, just go out there, play with confidence. Mm. Play, play, play. Like, don't don't think twice. Just go out there and play. Mm. Like, I I remember benching like some kids back mm. in tournaments and <laughs> just didn't feel nice. They didn't yeah. feel. It didn't, didn't feel, feel right. me. It didn't yeah. feel right. It didn't feel like you saw yourself in that kid. You're yeah. like, oh, that's yeah. oh it, man. And, I, and I, like, at the end of the day, I like, yeah. I felt, I felt bad for the kid, yeah. man. Like, having him not play for, like, and that was like, that's when like I got, I'm going back to the old school yeah. coaching style, and yeah. I didn't like that. So, I wanted to go back and go. Let's go back to my style. Have everybody play, win or lose. Yeah. It just didn't matter. Like. Hosting, hoisting the trophy mm. was a bonus, but like having these guys have fun and play the game what, that mm -hmm. they love mm -hmm. it is was what mattered most to me. And mm -hmm. and looking at the kids now, how 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 they're how they are doing well in life and yeah. and and person personally, mm -hmm. it's good to it's good to good to see. Mm -hmm. I don't know how if PJ can attest to this. Mm -hmm. Like if you remember when he coached you, but mm -hmm. from what I saw. You know, when you're even coaching the open the open free agent league for yeah. on point yeah. and Norman and every, all those guys from Boom, Boom Basketball, yeah. Yeah. this Dwayne is a calm, optimistic coach. Like, mm -hmm. it, like they were, at, one, at one game I checked out, um, it was a close game and they they lost a lead. He was very optimistic about this team. He, he was calm. He was calm in the huddles, making sure like team, don't worry, mm -hmm. we got this. We'll, we'll we'll get this through. Okay. We'll we'll probably we'll win this game, mm -hmm. but let's let's get, get to the basics. Stick back to the basics. With like, you know, is that is that you want to be that optimistic, calm guy? Yeah. Make sure that they're all all your your team is basically composed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because if they see me panic, yeah. then they're gonna panic. So I wanna just be composed, be calm. Like just like inside, you're like. Oh, but then, Inside like, you're like, oh, no. like oh, what are you doing? <laughs> but, but then like at yeah. the same time I'm just like, all right, let's shrug it off. Don't worry about it. Like let's get it back to the next session. Like yeah. it all starts in D. Like it all yeah. starts in defense. Let mm -hmm. let the defense let the defense dictate the game. Like yeah. if you if we if we could get a stop, then then um then we could will it will create the offense. It will it will get us going. Yeah. And the thing is I remember uh, Reggie Miller said in a telecast, mm. you can never struggle on defense, like on, on your defensive game. Mm. If, if your shot's up, just contribute playing D. Mm. Like, that's what I've always been telling myself. If you, like if your shots are, if, uh, like an example, if CJ's off one day, mm. he'll, I'll tell him, hey, just do something else. Mm. Get involved in defense, like set the guys up. Mm. Because the defense will still attract, attract them. If you mm. just kick it out and then just trust your teammates yeah. and believe in your teammates, mm -hmm. they'll, uh, we could end up getting the W. So, mm -hmm. 
it's all about trust and having guys trust in each other, mm-hmm. trust in me, trust yeah. it, like, like I look at the coaching like, as not a leader, like, you guys tell like we all work together as a team. Yeah. So I tell them, you guys tell me what's going on. What like I always ask in timeouts, what do you guys suggest? Yeah. Like, do you like the two three? Do you like the man? Yeah. Like, if you want if you want to change it up, let me know. Yeah. I'm open to try it. Like, and that's and that's the thing. Like. With, with the older generation, yeah. it was like, no, you do it my way, and yeah. that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Right? So you're very strict. You're very the, open to everyone's yeah, thoughts and opinions. I'm very open. So I, I, yeah. I wanted to come up with a new con, like try yeah. up with a different concept yeah. in coaching. Yeah. And and it worked. So. <laughs> and uh, you were successful. You won a couple of championships. Yeah. Good, good uh, yeah. relationships through that. And like you said, all the kids that you did coach are doing well. Yeah, right? and they're doing well. They're doing well yeah. on, the co- on and off the court. Yeah. So which is which is good. Yeah. And now being like one of the city directors in Vaughan like, yeah. and for the Labor Day tournament. So yeah. which is, so I'm slowly getting my way up there, which, yeah. which, I, which I would never have thought coming uh, at the, where I am now, where I am now. Mm-hmm. So.